I've been getting into Jimi Hendrix and it's been really nice. <laughs> It's been really really nice okay um i did not realize that it is the new moon sorry i look sleepy because i took a nice delicious nap today had a good sunday um, um it's a new moon that was yesterday. Um, and it's in Libra. So the sun is in, no, yeah, the new moon is in Libra. Is it, right? <laughs> the new moon is in Libra. So that means that it is a time for us to really hone in and focus on the things we want to bring in surrounding like you want to do like glamour magic beauty manifestations you know if there's things that you want manifested for you in regards to like beauty it could be that so if you're looking maybe you're acne prone and so you want more clear skin you could um manifest that i used to do that actually like um i used to be really really horrible when it came to um like my skin hygiene um and i used to be very notorious for never putting lotion on my body um never like exfoliating none of the things like i didn't even know they were it was possible face masks none of the things that i knew i didn't know these things maybe until about like till i was like 24 25 right um and that was through friends <laughs> but i had like to me i felt like i had like really dry really rough skin and so i wanted to like manifest like having softer skin and things like that and after a while i was just doing different rituals i like used to feel especially like on my thighs i used to have like really rough thighs because i for sure never lotion my thighs like if i lotion my lower legs it's because i wore a skirt but it was hardly where i was lotion my thighs unless i was gucci's um but you know just setting that intention and now baby be soft as butter okay um but whatever it is like i've seen people have really horrible acne and then it as the intention is said it clears up right and it clears up with ease and with minimal products you know with minimal evasive things you will have to do to your to your face um if you want maybe you want to be a model or you want to do like beauty influencing, this is a time to set the intention for that. Speak like, um, I, uh, my beauty op opens um, more opportunities for me effortlessly, right? My, my beauty opens doors for me. My beauty brings opportunities for, of money, money making opportunities to me. I make money off of my beauty. Um, people give me money or give me gifts effortlessly, easily with, um with flow or whatever you want to say um because of my beauty or whatever whatever right but you also have to say i my beauty is protected it is protected from jealousy it is protected from from attempts of destroying it right it's a because when you're beautiful there is a double-edged sword to that uh yes you may get admiration yes you may get opportunities and pretty privilege and all these different things however you do get the receiving the other end of that which is uh jealousy especially from other women right envy uh, remember i told you guys it was a while it was like last year's videos um we were talking about this uh movie where i saw this clip of this movie and from youtube i was watching somebody talk about it and analyzing it on youtube and what it was was like this lady she was very gorgeous and um all the men had desired it all the men thought that she was beautiful and so on and so forth but the women in the town was very angry about her being so beautiful um they wanted to call her a slut they wanted to call her all these different things and mind you she was dressing like very modest she was very like covered up and so they called her a slut a whole all these different things so then she was she started she was like okay well 
well, if you're going to call me that, let me embody that. Let me embrace that. Let me dress that up to what you what you keep trying to, to put on to me. So then she started dressing really sexy. Um, she had like red dresses on and very alluring, right? So she played into it. She embodied it and it upset them and they like beat the shit out of her and shit like that, right? I've had I heard other instances where women were so jealous of someone's beauty that they threw acid on a girl's face, right? Like, you know, girls want to plot and kill you because you're beautiful. So remember to incorporate protection um, with that, protection from envy, protection, you know, from um, a, a stalkers, <laughs> obsessive men, right? Um, obsessive women, because you know you might get you some lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. A lot, there's a lot of money and there's a lot of, um, within the beauty industry there's a lot of opportunities and things like that, but it's hard to break into. So if that's really something you want to do, modeling, if you want to do, um, you know, you want to be a video girl or you want your body to be a particular way, this is time for you to set that intention for that and, set, and manifest those things. Um, especially while it's, it's as it's surrounding your finances, right? Like if you want to get paid to be beautiful, you know, getting appearance jobs or whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, it could also be centered around love. Think about how you want um, a love connection to be. Um, what type of union fits you, right? What is What type of pleasurable experiences you would like to have? You know, what type of justice you want served to you? These are some of the different things and the things, what type of balance you want in your life. Um, if there's things that you're kind of like, <clears throat> and balanced on ask ask for the skills to be balanced in that area so whether that could be your emotions that could be your finances that could be whatever the case right um so these are some of the overarching things to discuss and then i'm gonna just pull some cards right now and then that's pretty much it to just see what the what spirit wants us to know and like it um you know, prepare for and must uh, yeah. <laughs> Should have had another oracle deck, but this shall do. Two decks is fine. We're gonna do a tarot and then we'll do a, a my cannabis one. Alright, so what is for this new moon? Ooh, look at the end look. Oh Uber you got the back to you. <laughs> okay, grandpa. <laughs> Um, the sun, two of cups, page of cups. Mm. Mm. Chariot. Mm. The lovers. Mm. Ace of coins is at the bottom of the deck. I think I'm going to do one more. Seven of Wands. Still want to keep it. The Empress is kind of poking out. But the Four of Wands. This baby has been showing herself to me a lot. Every time I pick up this deck, that Four of Wands is coming out. Um, justice and balance to be restored in relationships. So if the if one person has been giving more in the relationship, you can set the intention for it to be recipro you know, reciprocal energy. If you are usually the attentive one, you're the one who is, you know, constantly um, carrying the weight of the relationship set these and you know that this is someone you actually really want to be with set the intention for it to be balanced set it to maybe you're doing you're spending too much financially right and they're not um they're not giving anything in return for that set the attention that maybe now they'll start to have they'll have the finances to to pay for the dates or to um buy you more gifts you know or do more things like that um if you're the one who makes all the calls and set the intention for them to want to have the desire to reciprocate and start calling you 
whatever it is, whatever imbalance is going on in your connections or any area in your life, uh, as balance is at the back of this day, uh, manifest that. Maybe you've been in deprivation of connections, right? Friend groups and, you know, or maybe you're always the, the, the therapist friend. Now, set the attention for you to, for that to be reciprocated in your friendships, especially if you are doing reconciliations and things like that, right? Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Let me do like two more from here. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. 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 <laughs> mm -mm, da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. All right. This is some good cards, you guys. <laughs> I think it's very fitting for what has been transpiring lately, right? So we have the Four of Wands, we have the Lovers, we have the Chariot, the Sun, Two of Cups, and then we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Um, and Spirit actually said to read it in its reverse energy, so we're about to see. Um, but with the chariot, Spirit is saying things are moving forward in connections. It has been a lot of backwards, backward energies coming, right? With like Mercury retrograde, the Venus retrogrades. Like well, this year has been a very like, uh, just a very like cleansing, um, not chaotic, but just a very review, right? Review, looking at the pros and the cons, looking at two sides of the coins, looking at the negative and the positives of, of just what's been transpiring in our lives, right? Taking the blessings with the curses. It's been a very po polar year, right? You're taking the good with the bad. So of course there has maybe speed, there has been some like, inconveniences a lot of delays and things like that but things are moving forward after after this new moon this new moon things are moving forward i just read in this girl's post that venus is now in virgo so if you've been having a lot of she said like if you've been having a lot of like delays and things um in, in regards to relationships and stuff like that like you will have it easy going moving forward especially if you have earth side placements um so if i'm not mistaken the Page of Cups is about, excuse me, the Page of Cups is typically about like making those dreams, making that manifestation into a, a reality, right? Like doing the work that you need to do to bring that, that, that dream uh, to the forefront, right? And so it was in reverse with Spirit is saying do nothing, right? This is not a time for you to do anything in regards to connections. You don't have to... Um, sought out seek out somebody you don't have to beg somebody beg you don't have to yell your way into anything you literally have to do absolutely nothing you don't have to worry about tactics of seduction you don't have to do any of those things but be still right because the energy within itself is going to charge forward there is light there is elevation um the sun is shining right the weather is nice <laughs> Shining, shining, um, and so with the two of cups, the lovers, and the four of wands, and the sun, and the chariot, like all that you have been imagining, envisioning, you're literally your love manifestation, literally all the work that you have done in regards to you getting like your divine union, it is literally here literally here and spirit is just saying like whatever ways in which you felt imbalanced in that relationship in that connection 
make sure that you you make that clear make sure that you write that out so you know make sure you pinpoint that so that when it's time for y'all to have that discussion y'all have that discussion and then they'll be able to reciprocate so if you feel like it's been one-sided where one person has been actually taking time to get to know the other person but the other person hasn't been doing the same then now you will bring that to the forefront and then you will watch them do it organically you don't have to force you don't have to yell it's just a nice simple conversation that you guys will be having um but it's a celebration and just have fun <laughs> just have fun in that and allowing the energy to charge for it it is not this is no longer hermit time this is no longer solitude this is no longer single season this is really about like a lot of unions are coming to the forefront a lot of um just a lot of energy of love right and so we got peace and i'm gonna go in a little bit further once i read like the page we'll read the page of cups and then kind of get a deeper message out of that one i don't know if you can see that this is lantari lantarki mace which is peace she's so cute too look at her um change no moon no moon look at those look at the fish intertwined beautiful um orum nila the great diviner uh, glam glamour energy um Etan is seduction okay I just love this image to be honest with you I wonder can you see it because it looks really blurry and then Arabu restoration okay so things are getting restored things are changing things are becoming more peaceful there has been conflict but it's through glam it's through restoration i mean it's through glam it's through seduction it's through uh, siren energy it's through you know allure more than it, it's about right it's you embodying that feminine energy so we talked about in our videos yesterday about the divine feminine and her role in in her union right and that she is the one to take charge she is the one who is spiritually connected she is the one who ate the apple first right because god entrusted her to be able to withstand and understand um the knowledge and the truth that comes with awakening right a lot of us had went through our awakening so the ways in which we used to see life the way we used to see family the way we used to see work the way we used to see you know just the the um what's that? Damn, what's that word called? I'm gonna call it stereotypical and I don't wanna call it something else. Not, like the social norm, the um God, is that the tip of my fingers? And I feel it on my finger too. Is that the tip of my finger? And I can't think of that word. But anyways, we've been so con social conditionings to how we are supposed to be acting, being, existing, living, right? And so a lot of us has been in swindled and, and drowned in so much misery because we know that this is not a good quality of life. We're not supposed to be living like this, right? Just working and coming home and just... You know what I mean? Like, we're supposed to be doing, instead of doing, like, going, spending all day doing many, many old work, right? Typing in computers and things like that. We're supposed to be doing work and working with our hands with creation, right? Through arts, through what the, whatever it is that you're passionate about. But a lot of us aren't working in fields of passion. We're working in fields of financial stability, <laughs> What was I about to say? Wait, oh, so the divine femi femininity, right? So when you awaken, there's a lot of 
emotions that has to be processed that isn't necessarily understandable in regards to like um understandable in like traditional therapy right which is again like i tell y'all this is one the main reason why i even set up this channel why i even want to set up spiritual therapy is being oh hi papa is because you know look at me he just wants to be a hunter all the time trying to get uh, a damn bird hi boo how you doing cutie how you doing cutie He's so big now. He's so crazy. He's just getting bigger and bigger. He's just such a cutie pie chisel. Um, anyway, so navigating truths to different things like that, right? And then from there, spirit will have you lead your divine partner towards that too, because the divine masculine is way more attached to the physical reality right he's way more attached he's not like it's his natural inclination to be in the physical realm right like his 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 everything is is in his root chakra right his sexual organ is in the root chakra his just his manhood his existence his everything his identity is usually connected to his root chakra whereas for us it's our sacral it's our womb um, it's our our thing, a source of creation, right? Of nurturance and 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 using your intuitive nature and and things of that nature, right? And so that's why you go first. You learn first. Spirit has you um, eat the apple first. Spirit has you um, connecting with the spirits first, right? And then you can guide him because he's going to be the biggest skeptic of them all. And so you're going to show him how that he has his own inner divinity, uh, divine femininity, and that that he needs to tap into more than just solely being overly into his masculine energy he within himself has to be balanced just as we can't always fully be in our divine femininity we have to also have that balance of remembering our uh, divine masculine energy within ourselves so we have to make sure that even though we want to be creative even though we want to use our intuitive knowledge we want to be a healer we want to be this and the third we have to make sure that we also sustain our physical reality we make sure that we have our own bills paid we have our own income and this and that and the third and sometimes we sway fully on just relying on spirit and not uh, doing the work that is needed to manifest things physically right and so it's really cool that spirit has um just through my journey within particularly in my 20s i've been on both extreme sides of the spectrum being very career focused and only caring about my career um and then also being spirituality focused and only caring about my spirituality and seeing how being fully on one side has fucked me up <laughs> you know so um learning for my even for myself now in this stage of balance between my own inner divine femininity and masculinity um and how that shows up in every aspect of my life right and so and so I don't know why I think of it. So, they're saying there's change and restoration and peace that's coming in your connection, right? There's change, there's restoration and peace that's coming into all different areas and sectors of your situation. So, whatever you want peace and restoration, you want things to be restored and peaceful, right? So, if you have been at odds, you've been at war with your, your significant other, y'all been butting heads, y'all been not seeing eye to eye, y'all been just nitpicking and and whatever or maybe y'all split up or whatever the case that may have been for the these for particularly in this year now peace has come in right now you're looking way more beautiful to them now every time they look at like before they thought found you attractive but now they're just like you're irresistible right they they have to have you now right um you might be um yeah peace is coming for that right like peace in the situation is coming you guys are coming into a peaceful end it's coming back into celebratory time beautiful date nights um beautiful um 
yeah just whatever y'all used to do that was really fun um so spirit that's what the page of cups is remembering and reminiscing on what you used to do right how did y'all used to have your thrill what did y'all used like did y'all used to go uh surfing somewhere did y'all used to uh go on night drive somewhere like what was it that y'all 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 used to do or y'all want to start doing what is something you're visualizing now is it that y'all want to go take trips y'all want to do road you know road trips maybe y'all want to do <laughs> okay hold on well, maybe y'all want to do something else like what is it that y'all want to do um <laughs> He just wanted attention. <laughs> what did y'all want to do? Um, he just went like, under my leg. That's why. What did y'all want to do uh, to restore? That was confirmation from the kitty. Um, for my little tiny divine masculine right here. <laughs> um, here <y> <laughs> what do y'all want to do right uh how do you see or if it's still a new connection what do y'all see for y'all sales papa i'm gonna feed you in a minute okay let me finish my video papa um what do What do y'all want to do? What is something y'all visualize doing, right, in your, um, the passive aggressiveness of cats is hilarious to me. Because, like, sir, I don't care how many times you come up with my leg, you don't wait <laughs> till I'm done before I feed you. <laughs> he would do it a thousand times, and when he get tired, he'll start hopping, and then he will start, like, <laughs> and so he hits me, and I'm like, ouch. <laughs> And that's when I'm like, all right, I'll go feed you. Okay, so. <clears throat> Dreams, illusion, creativity, inspiration swirl around this car. So life may feel unsettled or ambiguous, um, ambiguous right now. You can probably expect the unexpected. The Page of Cups is an invitation to prioritize your spiritual and intuitive side, to tune into your dreams and manifestation and meditations, to listen to your inner voice and pay attention to it deja vu start a creative endeavors such as writing dream journal or painting or writing something which enables you to express yourself in whatever form you find come naturally life is a bit nebulous um, and volatile but from storm clouds come wonderful some wonderful news or a bolt of lightning in the form of a bright i'm going to get to you come on um life is a bit nebulous and volatile but from storm clouds some wonderful news or a bolt of lightning in the form of a bright idea or wild burst of creativity will emerge imaginative pursuits can help because they draw out intuition and gut feelings consciously open yourself up to new ideas or projects activate your curiosity for a new subject go with the flow um if it's um if it's a person, it's a water sign, and there's somebody who enters your life with a bang, it might feel like a BFF immediately, a soulmate, someone you could be, you could be about to sweep off your feet, be sweep off of your feet, something like that, whatever. And so, if things were, this it says, right, like to expect the unexpected. This time, with it being reversed, it's not something unexpected. It's things that you had already expected. It's things that you had already been doing. This is not something where you're starting fresh, right? Like upright is you're starting fresh. You're starting a new project. You're exploring what you want to start new. This time is you just going to continue what you was already starting, right? There's this nothing that you is nothing that you need to expect that's unexpectedly. This is nothing that is like. Um, none of that is not that you're going through crazy storms or anything like that. It's saying that 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 swirly energy, that that haziness, is gone. So it's at the it's that's why it's reversed. Because if it was upright, then it would just be a lot of haziness. It's a lot of ambiguity, ambiguity in that connection, right? Y'all don't know what to call yourselves. Y'all don't know, you know, like when you start first start dating and stuff like that. Like you don't know if you want to call them your boyfriend or not, or if you can. You don't know if you're if you're supposed to be jealous or not. Like y'all don't know what you're supposed to do, so you're just kind of sitting in that confusion. 
Um, and so with that reverse energy, Spirit said is getting out of that, that I don't know energy and the charging hair into an actual two of cups and an actual thing and an actual celebratory thing because you guys are actually being together. Like it's an actual union. Um, it's an actual union coming up. Just wanted to see if uh, the union card looked like. Right. What so is this about you? Star seed, young Rhea. She really wanted me to get that star seed card. Is this really about me? I think it's also like pregnancy and things like that. Yeah. Just offering was at the bottom. Let me take that offering card. Ooh. Look, I took that offering card and look what's getting sex magic. <laughs> and you saw Yemo, y'all was there. And look, justice. It's pregnancy time. <laughs> Uh, you got to get pregnant and it's not even something that you it's unexpected right like because you all y'all been new y'all kind of talked about it already y'all know what's about to occur y'all know what to expect now it's just the expression of feelings it's the expression of of like actually saying like no like this is this is it right it's it's that energy for you peace is coming in your connection um i wanted to read some things let me see if he will continue to sit still and be patient. He licking himself right now, so I think he'll let me read some stuff. Okay. Good God forbid a cat wait, right? <laughs> Not like you didn't eat at 4 a.m. this morning. We probably have to share this to you. time to be solitude no more singleness no more aloneness no more i can do bad by myself it is a time so let's do seduction first a seduction ethan traditionally the devil holds up her right change is here peace is here the connection is being restored. You're just looking really beautiful to that person. I just want to make sure you use sex magic. I'm going to be manifesting some things together. Babies is coming. Okay. <clears throat> so traditionally, the devil holds up her right hand for her masculine energy to let go of behaviors that hamper our spiritual purpose. I'm gonna read that again. Etan, traditionally the devil holds up her right hand for her masculine energy to let go of behaviors that hamper our spiritual purpose. Her left hand holds a matchstick, symbolizing the ability to receive the many pleasures of life. Etan is the seductress of our mind and the veil of illusions that separate us from our spiritual path. We are seduced by temptation to control others in order to achieve our desired outcome. But just as the chains hang loosely on the, on the beams, we are able to slip away from a time when needed. The power lies in the illusion that we are helpless. Etan appears when we are feeling why them, not me energy. All energy springs from the same source and reminds us that though we appear chained, we are all heading the same de destination. The journey can be walked together if you let go of the need to control every aspect outside of yourself. To deny your purpose and wish for other gifts is to deny your spiritual power and can realign you to the opportunities on a lower frequency than you wanted. Stop feeding the momentum of negativity and spiral into gratitude into a gratitude rampage. If the time has appeared to you, it is time to ask yourself, do I feel chained to someone, something, or someplace? So they want you to step outside of the need to control your relationship, control the outcome of that situation. Remember we talked about yesterday and we talked about how like the, the energies that we see 
around especially through social media is this need to control each other control how somebody takes you out control how you are um tended to in your relationship we want to control every little inkling thing right and if somebody doesn't meet those conditions they don't meet those standards they don't meet um they don't fit and and read the lines to the script that we wrote we have an issue we have a problem with that and spirit is saying do not change like just because someone didn't go about it in the way that you would have necessarily gone about it you need to unchain yourself so are you so don't and don't be so hyper focused and hyper fixated on the outcome of this union yes spirit says that it's coming but spirit also wants you to have balance in and continuing to do things on your own not being focused on it not having it being the center of your brain right now right not making it your false god not making the union your false god not trying to con control how they are and how they present themselves to you how they are with you right even so even though you may feel and sense this imbalance right are some of, so when you're reviewing and you're looking at some of the imbalances is some of it you wanted to control and change them and mold them into being who you want them to be or is it something that is an actual problem it's an actual situation that you know it maybe it's just actually like no i just actually just i don't want you to pay for everything i just it just would be nice if you offered right this is so what are certain things that this needs to be a conversation and what are things that needs to be you know all the other things but ultimately like sex magic creation partnered so you could go on the journey with that person you can y'all could journey through life together but you can't control how they how they move in their life and how they move in their life while you're in their life you are you guys are life partners right so it's like i'm not your life god you're not my life god you're not going to tell me what, what to do how to do how to be exist in my life i'm not going to tell you what to do how to do it exist in your life i'm just here to support you on your journey you're here to support me on my journey and i think people forget that in their in relationships we get into relationships now we want to control the person we possess them we're worried about what they doing how they doing it with you know who they with all of these things we want to tell them who they should be around hang around with we should tell them what they should wear what they shouldn't wear and instead just allowing them to continue to make mistakes learn from their mistakes make wrong decisions um be weak be imperfect you know let them let them be and then their polarity right let them be in their full humanness we should never always want to look perfect right look um, at each other with rose colored glasses we shouldn't be wanting to be so consumed in the illusion of a partner but more so the reality of the person who we chose to be with um not this being a relationship advice. <laughs> Not this being a love for you. Right, so, Araro is which is restoration. The energy of water has memory and connects and connects you to the un and connects you to the unified field where the whole <clears throat> of the source resides. We all come from a creative energy, and within that energy is where you can find freedom. Behind them is the hemp stalk in the Nigerian Abadan Malibu. what you preach you're telling me this and telling me that when I'm with you I'll never go back and in the lesson that I wanna teach here I am today practice what you preach um, Araro is a card of healing for both inner and outer purposes, which will alter as you go through changes you encountered in Iku, Gogoro, Itan, and Iferata. The stars have always provided us with an infinite um, perspective and sense of possibility. Araro reminds you that your ancestors lived so that you would not have to ask permission to. You do not need permission to exist. Thousands had to love for you to be here. Ooh. Thousands had to love for you to be here. 
lovers is the reason for the creation of the world so if you want to create you have to go back to love and being with the lovers and that's why the lovers card came out <laughs> Conjure that feeling of having an over overflowing base and pour yourself a sense of relief. It has already happened. If Oaro has hap appeared in your spread today, please ask yourself, am I showing gratitude every day? Do I believe it will all work out for me in the end? Do I believe in my blessings? Be grateful for the relationship that you have. Yes, there are things that are going to need to be improved, but still look at it from a lens of gratitude and not a lens of lack. Don't be think, don't look at your partner and things and the things that needs to be balanced as the things that you are lacking in your relationship. Because a lot of times what you're lacking or you feel a sense of lack is the thing that only you can fulfill. If you feel like you have a lack of attention from your partner, a lot of times that is you who need to fulfill, you know, that energy within yourself that is a sign to let you know that you have been self-neglecting you haven't been tending to you right and so they say do i believe in my blessings do you believe in this this is a blessing for you are you going to look at it and be grateful right remember we talked about um conditions unconditional love versus conditional love and it says unconditional love is where god gives you a person who don't meet your conditions so because this person doesn't meet your condition are you going to start to look at things negatively are you going to start continuing to complain are you going to continue to feed into the illusions to what you think an ideal partner is right everybody falls short so are you going to just be a gratitude that you even got to be able to cross paths with this beautiful human being right because hey you there's thousands of trillions of people in this world he, he is so used to this family this is so cute there are thousands of trillions of people in this world right but you ended up meeting that person god orchestrated y'all lives to meet each other there's a thousands of readers in this world and you came here right there's a thousands of 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 women in the world and you met her out of all the women, you met her and you connected deeply with her. Now you went through your whole life meeting different women of all shades and sizes and stuff like that. And you met her. And that's the one your heart is sung at. And so be grateful and be in gratitude that spirit gave you that. <laughs> Instead of always being in those that energy. Like we, everybody is just in that energy of, of this ingratitude. Like be grateful that that person took you on a date instead of looking at where they took you. You know what I mean? Like, things like that. And Spirit says, stop having a sense of entitlement. Um, having such a sense of entitlement to other people. A person is not entitled to take you on a date. A person is not entitled to call you. A person isn't entitled to want to be in your energy all the time, right? Like, just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean I need to see you every day. I'm not entitled to see you every day. If I choose to see you every day, that's great. If I want to see you the next day, that's amazing. But I'm not entitled to it. You can't control when you see me. You can't, I can't control when I see you. It has to let, allow that flow in. But we want three dates within a, a week or we want like we have such these rigid like order for things and you're taking it out of the energy and the flow of love and now you're being a control freak now you want to control what they do for work now you want to control this that and third if they mention that they don't want they want to change jobs then help but if they didn't it's not for you to dictate that if they mention they want to um you know, not go on this path of their own, then help. But you can't control that. If they didn't mention they wanted a car, don't tell them they need to be getting a car. If, you know what I mean? Like, stop trying to control people. It's about love. It should be free. It's a freest form where you're, you're not loving a person when you're trying to restrict them from being their true self. If they are a happy, lucky, go person, it is not for you to try to control how they how they view and see the world and how they exist and show up in the world. If you love them, love them. But if there is certain things that 
that do need to just be re restored and reciprocated that can be communicated by all means have those discussions so let's talk about creation partnered sex magic i integrate and accept change and i align the cycles of life you want some this card emerges when you need to collaborate each person has one hand hidden so as to not show all their cards Ooh, okay, so each person has one hand hidden so as to not show all their cards. It's as if they have talents they do not know of because they only emerge when working together. Ooh. Partner energy is powerful, whether it is love, friendship, or business. When you combine your intention with someone else's intention and the two are aligned, working in tune with your intention, the results are magnified. Just because you've known someone forever doesn't mean you can't give new people a chance. Be open and honest with yourself and how you feel about collaboration. More often than not, if you have a problem with your with the partnership, it is a reflection of your inner struggle. Didn't I just say that? That's so cool. Okay, so return to the creation energy, solo magic, if this card continues to appear. And the crystal playing is for right. Wow. A friend of mine, because you know I'm reconnecting with them and my high, um, middle school friends. Um she had posted she did a video a reel the other day on fluorite and it's so funny that i just did a card and it's it showed fluorite um so yes so just because you've known your ex for such a long time or you you've been with someone else for such a long time it doesn't mean that that's the person that's for you that just means that sometimes that just means that you've just been holding on to them for too long it's okay to get to know someone new it's okay to open yourself up to new love to new friends to new things and stuff like that you don't always have to be no new friends no new friends just because you have your little same little three crew that you've been friends with in elementary does not mean you can't give your give a chance to have a new best friend from a bitch you just knew two days ago you know what I mean? Open yourselves up to new people because those people are a reflection of the growth and the change and the newness of you. You've done the work to change yourself. So sometimes you it has to reflect within in this environment by you changing the people in which you condone and you hang out with. And a lot of times with our spiritual with spirituality, that is one of the main sectors of ascension is changing who we hung, hang out with. So for me, it has been a hard trying to continue to have this restraint to not go and hang out at my family's functions, right? Because for me, if I set the intentions of wanting to have a certain type of people around me, then why am I going to continue to go back into the environments where I know I am not going to get that fulfilled, right? If you know you want a true love, you know you want loyalty, you want a love that you can trust, why would you go back to a distrustful ex? Why would you go back to a, a snaky friend? Why would you go back to, you know, to to the the old neighborhood that tore you down? Why would you go back to that old job that abused you when you know you want to propel forward in a new field? You feel me? It'd be okay with starting things new regardless of what it is, but especially with friendships and especially with love partners. I think we all get so hung up on exes. Like, they are fucking ex for a fucking reason. Like, people are, like, stop having such a chokehold like stop letting people have such a chokehold on you and you know i wanted to make a separate video on this um but spirit has really been telling me that a lot of us are in this stage and in this phase in our lives where we are getting we are letting the umbilical cord be cut so we're experiencing a lot of maternal deaths your mother is dying your grandmothers are dying people who have held you and chained you especially within feminine energies from growing from progressing from living and making decisions that sh and doing the things that you want to do in your life those are the people who are dying and getting cut you are getting cut out of that umbilical cord there's no source of nutrients coming from you that umbilical cord there's nothing there there's nothing there it's just you just dead flesh right your mother should not be live should not be the your prime source of decision making right like your mother shouldn't be the you what your mother's a, approval or her opinion or whatever isn't the thing that should be di dictating who you date dictating what you do for a career and stuff like that stop chasing her fucking approval same with your grandmother right 
if these women are negative or if these women are miserable if these women you know always are very heavily opinionated if they're narcissistic if they um are self-interested if they only they're manipulative right to try to keep you bound to them they're being they're cutting off spirit is tired you have a mission you have a purpose you have things you need to do in this life and your mother your grandmother or whatever who your baby mother whoever it is that is a feminine energy that is that's um holding you back it's about to, the umbilical cord is about to get cut and a lot of that has to come through death because a lot of you guys would not would not spirit has to go to the extreme because you won't let that person go or you won't let go of the weight in which you have um the weight that you have in wanting to seek their approval get to get their things like that right like they had their own life she had your mother had her own life she made the decision she made for herself she chose what jobs to work she chose not to go to school she chose her romantic partners she made all of those choices herself so it's unfair of her to not allow you to make your own individual choices for your own individual life if the choices she made for her life made her miserable it's not okay for her to try to make you be miserable too and just because you know she's taking advantage of that love she's taking advantage of your devotion to her and your need to to seek this honor of, of your mother right if you think about cats or you think about animals their mothers let them go instantly once they learn how to to walk you know, once they learn how to fly once they learn how to fend for themselves their mother is gone they live the rest of their lives without their mother and they eventually find they're human right so we as humans though we stay so attached to these connections even though they're dead even though they're not supportive even though they they're a bigger hindrance than whatever a lot of people have the inclination to want to move out of the state out of the country but their mothers tell them no a lot of people want to date outside of their gender, outside of their race, outside of whatever. Their parent, their mothers told them no. And Spirit said, it's now time to cut that umbilical cord. So you're going to need to learn how to do it now, or you're going to have an even harder time once that bitch is in the casket. And I know that sounded so hard, but it's the truth because it, enough is enough. It's not fair. That it's not fair. And they're heavily opinionated and, you know, you're so accustomed to listening to their guidance because, you know, you had to listen to it till you were 18 years of age. But now that you are an adult, you should never be doing things like, oh, you never should be coming out of your mouth when you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. Oh, my mom would have never allowed me to do that or no, nah, I couldn't do that. My mom would be pissed. Who gives a fuck? Let her ass be mad. You know what I mean? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> she had her own life <laughs> you know what I mean? like, she had her own life my grandmother chose to have the decisions that chose her to stay in poverty my mother has made those same decisions just because i changed and changed my life and my course so that i don't have that same thing um it doesn't make me a villain because i changed to do something different my mother does not approve of any of my actions she doesn't approve of my career choice she doesn't approve of any of the things and i don't give a fuck because i I'm not living my life for her approval anymore because when you do that they're never satisfied because they can't get that satisfaction from you they can only get that satisfaction from themselves and if they giving up on themselves then i'm sorry baby but you need to give up on your mamas too or baby mama or a best friend or you know whatever girlfriend wife whatever it is whoever it is they should not be a leech you now are taking care of a man child a woman child they are not your responsibility if they're not going to want to do so you cannot help anybody that don't want to help themselves okay you will only be depleted love is not about taking care of somebody as though you are their parent you guys are two individual people right creation partner you guys are both equally going through life and you just are equally supporting each other you have her back she has your back not you take care of her not you be her responsibility you see what i mean let that, let that bitch if she end up homeless let the bitch be her, her, her homeless <laughs> you know what i mean 
your sister, whoever it is, you know, like, if she don't want to get her shit together, your daughter, whoever that person is, they don't want to get their shit together, don't, then ugh, cut the umbilical cord, okay? Because <laughs> sometimes daughters can be leeches too. I know right now, I'm a leech. <laughs> I'm a leech. <laughs> but, at least, but at least I'm making it worth my while. At least her, her investments are going. It won't be in vain. <laughs> um, I guess a glam. <laughs> my confidence is solid as stone and I take positive action to manifest my dreams. It's time to put your, put on your best dress and attend the best party you've ever been invited to. This is your red carpet, your premiere, fashion debut, and catwalk for the Oracle Gods. You know what's funny? I was walking in the alley. <laughs> I was walking in the alley uh, headed home today. I know that's how creepy, but it's a, it's a good alley. <laughs> it's the only good alley. Um, I was walking through the alley because I like to go to to I made my little dippy Nipsey uh, altar there, so I was walking here and then I started cat like catwalking one of the catwalk down the middle of the, uh, of the alley and I was just thinking about how fun that would be and it's so funny that they brought it up in this car. So sometimes you don't know where the next where the next whatever is going to come from, but you can still look like a million dollars and you and you just might shift your energy into different feeling and alignment. Pyrite is a companion for this card as it will as it um, was mistaken for gold by many people. You may not be gold, but you can look like it. Bringing your vessel into a physical state of elevated emotion instantly helps to mind helps the mind and body sync up. So even if you're you aren't going anywhere, get glammed up. You know it will make you feel better. I like that. Um, I love that because, uh, one of, uh, one of the hook lyrics, uh, man, where Papa go? <laughs> one of the hood lyrics manifestation, not uh, like met her, her, one of her, um, like ritual techniques for when she wants to do like spell work for like, um, for like manifesta manifesting something. She says that she gets dressed up, right? She said, you wanna dress like, so if you wanna do like road openers and stuff like that, she said she dresses up in her best fit. You wanna look good, right? And I also remember how Lolly was saying like, dress up for like work. Even if you're working from home, get up, get up and dress, right? To do so. And I think, cause I've kind of like got into a more like bummy, kind of look and stuff like that um <laughs> now that i don't work like have to go to like an office but since i'm an entrepreneur like i probably should start dressing more to the parts right especially like for our like videos maybe i should like do more here and things like that too um but yeah so get dressed up <laughs> get dressed up <laughs> for your man <laughs> for you for each other <laughs> Do we have death? Yep. Well, not death, but this is probably the last. I wanted to read Orville Mila, but oh, it's right here. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. And then we'll just do Yemoya. She's the star seed one. Alrighty. So, Orum Mila, the great diviner. Orum Mila is off referred to as Ifa and saw the beginning of creation. He embodies wisdom and understanding through all destinies. He sits in front of a bright blue sky with his legs stretched out before him. A slight bend in the knee. He wears a yellow and green robe and sits as the great diviner with his cowrie shells beside him in a pile. In front of his lap sits a mirror with golden flakes on it where the shells fall and creates a mark of one or two straight lines to decipher their message. Something that has taken him many years to practice. He uses these readings to determine the outcome of a situation and comes to you when it's time for you to be called to action. Ifa is the path of the males in Nigeria blacks they have barbecues 
I mean, <laughs> Ifa is the path of the males in Nigerian divination and the stern look on his face reminds you that he, he means business. He knows all secrets about creation and candle sits at the front of the car symbolize this. He is intense, immensely powerful. Some may more, some say more powerful than other Orishas. Orumila has his divining chain Ople and his palm nuts around his seat to symbolize what he brought to humanity as God. That was it. <laughs> Wisdom and understanding through all destinies. Okay. Santa Murete. African people. African peoples who were enslaved, re-Christian their deities into Catholic saints to maintain their religious practices. Wow. Santa Maria is surrounded by cigars, tequila, and chocolate. This card is the altar card, and when it appears, it's time to create an altar for yourself. On the altar before her lies cannabis, tobacco, many colorful flowers, can't and fruit smoke is blown over it as the practice of purification this is shown in the smoky haze that surrounds it bread water and incense are seen in abundance at her sides as these things are considered essential offerings the red white and gold candles aligned in the card represent candle magic symbolizing the importance of ritual remind yourself that death is not always the true death you can say goodbye to an old version or program that is where it's Santa Muerte can help, especially potent when in combination with Goguru. Go 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 you see, I literally just talked about so there's just a lot of death energy, a lot of peace is coming from you, and um, the peace is coming from letting old people that need to go go. The bitch need to die, she need to die. Okay, she's holding you back from your purpose. Spirit will remove anybody by any means necessary for you to fulfill your purpose here in life. If you're meant to change and be, make an impact in this world, spirit will cut out any distraction, anything that wants to steer you away from that. Spirit will remove friendships, partnerships, relationships, family ships, all of those things. You may be alone for a little bit, it doesn't matter you're going to um you know you're going to have a new beginning it's a fresh start and it's only the beginning there's a fresh start just look your eyes and you receive it <laughs> A fresh start. 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 A prophesy that is right here, right now. You don't have to beg. You don't have to beg for it. He wants to give it to you anyway. So I declare. There's a fresh start. Mm. And I'm right here right now. Mm -mm. There's a fresh start. Mm. And it's right here right now. Hey. There's a fresh start. Mm. And it's right here right now. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay for it. He wants to give it to you anyway. So I declare. Uh, so Yemoya, Yemoya appears floating in an ancient galactic city. Her her giant iridescent tail flowing multiple times. You see stars surrounding her, blah, 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 blah. Yemoya 
<clears throat> so her tail is wrapped in flowers and veins and the fin looks like the cannabis plant leaves to propel her to higher frequencies. The veil above her, which separates the ocean from the land, contains a barricade of crystals that prevent certain frequencies from crossing as seen in Orun. Yemoliha represents the ancient star beings who are coded with DNA to understand sound frequencies and return memories to those who are ready to activate their cosmic memory. When this card appears, it's time to be an active co-creator. Nomomo Nomo is the chameleon of the culture suit. As culture changes, we change. As we progress through life from adolescence to full-grown adults, it is feels like we are battling ourselves in our or our pro that I love how the last two cards went with my ring. Okay, so anyway. Cause I'll be thinking I'll just be going off field base. Maybe be like, no, I need you to play this out. Um <laughs> We may feel like we are battling ourselves and our programs. Um, Namu Nomu inputting into our operating system is no longer compatible. This is a call for you to wrap yourself around what you think you know and what you may have been instilled in, what may have been instilled in you as default by your parents, grandparents, and even possibly friends, exes, and society as a whole. Small mushrooms gather around Nomu Nomu in, and in the background of the card as a reminder to connect to the entire network of beings on the planet. We are all intertwined within each other as we all come from the same source of energy. Connect with your inner warrior, healer, lover, friend, and be the chameleon of your own life. At times, you may see the confirmation of the rainbow reminding you that all is well. The world is much smaller than you could imagine. Our connections to others are intertwined more than you know. Didn't I tell you? Yo, bestie. Just because you knew that bitch since uh, since y'all came out the womb, she's still a toxic, hating ass bitch. <laughs> Cut her off. Just because your mama birthed you out don't mean she's not a jealous envious hating ass bitch cut her out just because your grandmama is old and wrinkly and she fed you chicken noodle soup when you was five doesn't mean that she is toxic and holding you back now let the bitch go <laughs> Just because this is the one who gave you your first child, you have beautiful memories, she held you, she barely, <laughs> but she held you barely down and shit. Back in the day, y'all used to do this, that, and the third with each other. Don't matter, let the bitch go. A lot of people are dying. <laughs> and it's great because they need to be reincarnated to somebody else and, and relearn they, because they're fucking up as adults. They didn't learn the lesson that they needed to learn as children, so they're about to go relearn it now. Maybe they're going to be with harsher parents now or more disciplined parents now or more lenient parents now. I don't know. But either way, it goes like a bitch. But overall, ain't this beautiful? Overall, once y'all let this bitch go, once y'all let that nigga go, once y'all let that, that mama go, once y'all let that daddy go, whatever it is, this comes and it's celebratory. And don't let them, don't let anybody tell you who you should be you should be dating who you should be loving who you should be connected with only seek god's guidance only seek your heart's knowledge and your own internal wisdom for who is you supposed to be with and it's moving forward the sun is shining the weather is right okay anyways happy new moon get to manifesting get to being in gratitude <laughs> and get to being beautiful <laughs> okay bye <laughs>